Hey what's up this is Damon Tech here with a brand new quick tip video requested by Carl Herman in the comments on my previous videos. He asked could I do a video on how to record game footage for a game like Minecraft for example. So thanks Carl for your comment, I'm going to talk about two applications today, one's called Fraps, the other one's called Playclaw. And I'm not going to talk about hardware today, it's a completely different story, but these two applications, Fraps and Playclaw, are both Windows only applications unfortunately, but they're both designed specifically for recording games and on multi-core CPUs, so instead of using a traditional recording software such as Camtasia Studio, uh, these two applications are designed specifically for games, so they use as little CPU usage as possible so you get a higher frame rate. Now these two apps are completely separate, but they both do pretty much the same thing. It's just a matter of preference whichever one you like. Personally I like Playclaw but that's just me. I'll show you guys both of them today so you can make up your own mind. Uh, as far as I can remember neither of them are particularly free. Uh, they're both paid applications but they're both uh, relatively inexpensive. So the download links for both apps are below. Let's start with Fraps. So here we are on the Fraps website, fraps.com. As you can see, Fraps is actually a benchmarking software as well as a video capture software. So you can read this little paragraph here about Fraps if you'd like to know a little bit more about it. But we're going to go to the download link up here. I'm going to download the latest version down here. As you can see, you need at least Windows XP to run Fraps and up to Windows 7, they say, although I have tried it on Windows 8 and it works pretty well there too. So once you've gone through the installation, double click the desktop icon to open up Fraps and you'll see this window right here with four tabs, General, FPS, Movies and Screenshots. You'll also see this green box right here. Uh, these are the limitations of the unregistered version, unfortunately. Loop recordings disabled, Fraps watermark on the top of the video and a maximum of 30 seconds per recording, which is pretty useless. So ideally, if you do like either Fraps or Playclaw or some other software, it is just worth it in the end to buy it. So before we record, I'll just change some settings. We'll mainly just be concerned with the Movies tab up here, but in the General tab, I find it handy to tick this box, Minimize to System Tray Only. It'll get Fraps out of your taskbar and into your system tray when you minimize because you won't need to change the settings too often. So in the FPS tab, I like to turn off the overlay because otherwise Fraps will show an overlay in your video of FPS in the top left corner and you don't want that in a published video. So in the Movies tab you're going to change your video settings. The first thing to change is the folder your videos are saved in. So I like to save them in a custom folder on my desktop called Fraps Recordings. But it can be wherever you like though. Choose OK. Uh, video Capture Hotkey, you can change this if you like. I like to choose F8, but it can be anything. Uh, your Video Capture Settings, your FPS, change that if you like. Uh, full size or half size video. You have a few more settings down here and you have your sound settings here too. Your system sound and you can record from an external input too, such as a microphone. So once you have those set, minimize fraps and hit your hotkey to start recording. So here in Minecraft, I'll give you guys an example. When I press my fraps hotkey, the icon in the system tray turns to red, as you can see. It's recording now. When I press it again, the icon changes back to yellow, so it's stopped. So I'm going to close Minecraft and open up the Fraps Recordings folder. In here you find an AVI file, double click that, and as you can see the window is the size of the Minecraft window, so if you want to make the video bigger, you just increase the size of the Minecraft window. And of course this watermark up here won't be there when you buy the app. So we're here on playcloud.com, this is the second app I want to show you guys today. And here on the homepage we have a description of exactly what the app does. You can read that if you like. We're going to go to the download page. And download the most recent stable version using this link. It's compatible with Windows XP 7 and 8 in both 32 and 64 bit versions. So uh, it's handy if you have a more powerful computer. So once it's downloaded, minimize your browser, open up the installer and run to the install process. So once that's finished, Playclaw should open and you'll see a settings window. There's actually a lot of settings in Playclaw, so we'll only go through a few of them. On the left hand side here, choose settings and choose minimize to system tray. Just like in Fraps, it can be handy. In the video capture settings tab, go into videos on the left hand side. And you can change your settings right here, like your folder. I'll create a new folder on my desktop like before. Call it Playclaw videos and choose OK. Your videos will be saved in there. Start and stop video hotkey, F8 like before. Uh, you have your video FPS here too, you can change your frames per second. You can resize the frame if you don't want the size of the video window. Uh, capture cursor, you can turn that on or off. Your encoder, I usually find low compression is the best balance between quality and performance on your computer. So we have audio settings here too, you can change your microphone settings. And the overlays tab is pretty advanced, I won't go through this today, but there's a lot of customization you can do in the overlays tab. So here we are again in Minecraft, we're going to test out Playclaw. As you can see we have the overlays on the left hand side here. You can uh, toggle these on or off if you set an overlay hotkey, uh, which it did. So we're going to test out Playclaw, let's press our recording hotkey. And it's now recording, as you can see the text turns red. And we have a size of the video file plus how long we've been recording for. 
So let's move around a little bit. This is just a bit slow because I have two recording softwares running, which of course you won't be doing. Let's stop recording, press our key again. So let's close down Minecraft and open up our folder, play cloud videos, and here is the AVI file that was saved. As you can see, it's the same size as the video window. And of course, this watermark won't be as intrusive when you buy the software itself. And as you can see, the quality is pretty good. So that was a quick explanation of both Fraps and PlayCloud. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you click subscribe for more. Click like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.